breathtaking with its art and marble construction, this chapel for U.S. priests in Rome holds an unexpected treasure. This chapel was built in 1633, if I'm not mistaken, and the choir loft in which we're sitting was built in 1735. It was a later addition. Originally, this chapel was a uh, sister's chapel, so there was a convent here of uh, visitation sisters, and um, at some point or another, they decided to add on this area. I'm not quite sure why that was. Uh, and then somewhere in the 1860s, there's some debate about the origin of this instrument. Somewhere in the 1860s, the American bishops who ran this, when this house was the North American Seminary and not the residence just for priests as it is today, at some point in that time, they purchased an organ from uh, the man who was at that time the most famous organ builder in the world, whose name is Aristide Cavill Cole. He built some of the most important instruments in the world, for example, at Notre Dame in Paris, at Sacre Coeur in Paris. But there's only one Cavill Cole in Rome, and that's this organ that we're in front of right here. But this does have some stops which were unique to Cavill Cole that he pioneered. So he pioneered the French horn stop, uh, the oboe stop, the clarinet stop, both of which we have, and he he pioneered one particular stop called the harmonic flute. And uh, that's here, and it's really kind of the, it's the gem of the instrument. An organist needs to apply his instrument to a variety of styles and types of music. He gets to know his instrument very well. Sometimes the contact with the instrument gets physical, but these are not meaningless scribbles. Rather, real history is recorded here. As a result, on this organ, all the men who've been involved with playing the organ, and then many of the men who've been involved in singing, have physically scrawled things into the side of the organ. In fact, right by where you're standing is the, the first one that mentions me. <laughs> but if we look over here, on May 30th, on 1940, it says, Music packed, organ closed, in preparation for departure of the college for America. And it says, who are the choir masters? Well, what happened to them? Well, the Americans had to leave because World War II was looming. A worthy instrument for a worthy liturgy, the organ is the queen of liturgical instruments. Certainly the organ maintains a, a particular pride of place. And that's a phrase that's used in uh, documents from the Holy See to address to the entire world. So it's not just specific to places like uh, France and Germany, which have a long and noble organ tradition. It's also extended to places like Peru or Australia. Anywhere where the church is, the church brings her culture. And part of that culture is her musical culture. <laughs>